guy, of course, the snake player and rival, of course. Two more of SoCal's unranked best. Rival, of course, rocking the Zero Suit that he's been most known for. His main does have a couple of secondaries he can pull out if the Snake proves to be too much for him, but gonna stick it out first with the Zero Suit. Game one on to PS2, that one guy going with the Snake. That one guy is, by the way, has been getting some pretty good results recently. Had the misfortune of running into Void last week's Wednesday night fights, but still put in a decent bracket performance. Besides that, made a bit of a loser's run. Rival, meanwhile, uses the tether grab, and that will outspace so much of what Snake has. The projectiles might dissuade him from perhaps approaching, but if he is able to get in, it will outrange, I think, almost the entirety of Snake's kit. Certainly all of his normals. Although he parries onto the tilt, and now he's going to have the opportunity to place that C4. Returns with the up tilt. Return is going to be met with the up tilt, rather. And a second up tilt off of the parry. Will close up the first stock for that one guy. It's so powerful. It's jam-packed with kill power, and that one guy not going to let it go to waste. on top of the platform. And the mistech will be the opportunity he needs. Rival was just unaware of the C4 placement. He's going to be caught into it once again. Another parry this time goes to the down tilt instead. Has to be wary of the up smash, though. The mortar will take him off the top. That one guy is going to be up three stocks to one and already looking very clean. Finally gets him back. A bit of payback, but is it too little too late? Just going to slow the pace down. Willing to hold shield and goes for a grab. Flip kicks out of that, but consecutive dash attacks into the up air or the up tilt from that one guy. Not even going to chance it with that F smash being charged. Flip kicking out of danger. Another dash attack will put him off stage. The mortar will connect if he's not careful. Flip kicks around the forward smash as well. Blows up the C4, perhaps just with the opportunity to place a new one at center stage. Reset the 30 second timer. I did read the roll off of the down throw, but not quite going to kill this early. Rival still sitting at 113% and gets the berry off the flip kick. Does not get the up special punish. Was not in good position, but the back air perfectly placed onto the cipher. That one guy just had nowhere to go already. Air dodge might not have even made it back if he had opted to use it there. And Rival with a bit of life here. Have to see what he has left in the tank. Blows up the C4. That could have been the opportunity for an early reverse up tilt. But gets the flip kick and the spike almost is going to kill. He's going to miss the stage spike again. And just air dodge is not enough to make it back. Rival able to escape out of a bad situation with consecutive spikes and now that one guy has to be kicking himself knowing he played that first game so well but one simple mental lapse and not playing to his character's weaknesses not avoiding just the predictability that cypher gives you is going to cost him game one No character switch for game two, but no change of the floor plane either. We're going back 
It's a PS2. That one guy. Just detonates the C4 and places another. Drops it onto center stage. Red the roll over the up air. Quick kicks around the mortar. Spot dodged around the down air. He had just fallen down. I don't believe he would have had the timing right, but just predicting that option and going to be rewarded for it. Still 50% in the lead, and the Nikita will only compound the damage. Flick kicks out of the way of that missile. Although these traits only going to benefit that one guy, even though this percent is being added on, because now he is into up tilt range. Does not get the up smash. Pokes with the Zer. And just drifted too low. Rival is going to be out of that first stock just a minute in. And that one guy showing the dominance with which he exhibited in the earlier half of game one. We're going to have to try and avoid the same mistake he made late on. Although it gets stunned. He had the opportunity to go for the up special, if not for that landing up smash of that one guy that he had just thrown out moments beforehand. Just a bit of a bait and auto punish there. Dash attack going to take Rival up to 94% with an added aerial. This is a re-grab. And he's just going to flip kick back. Although he fell out of the uppie. That's just so unfortunate for Rival. Cannot catch a break now. C4 on top of the platform. Will erase the second stock of Rival. And that one guy once again in a three stock to one position. But once again from Rival. A back air will bring this back. Spot dodges. The, uh, the tether grab. And this is the same situation that one guy found himself in in game one. Cannot get too careful. And now Ice. Rival is trying to just ferry him to that other side of the stage, but it's so careful, so tedious of a task when these grenades are out in the C4 almost doing it. I think Rival would have been a bit surprised there, given the percent he was at, although the DI wasn't perfect either. B reverses the grenade pull. Very close to up tilt percent as well. If he catches him on top of the platform, it might do it. Up air from Rival. Flip kick onto the C4, but got away before that one guy could detonate it. So only going to connect with a shield and parry into up tilt from that one guy. That's going to be a two stock and a very clean one at that rival. Just been utterly devoid of answers, even though he was able to take game one, being dominated in the neutral all the while. And if his disadvantage play is good, he still is in with a shot in game three. But that one guy has been the aggressor for all of this entire set. This isn't a particularly amazing matchup for ZSS. She is very movement heavy and she does reward, you know, very stealth and very fast moving options. It's not a character that you can really just sit in one place and spam back air with, for instance, but when you have to navigate this barrage of missiles and grenades and C4 that a character such as Snake is putting out, just makes that movement all the more difficult. And the Nikita being put through the platform is going to take rival stock. He was sitting at just a tad over 80%, but with a Nikita offstage, that's more than enough. That one guy rolls out of danger and is going to be rewarded with stage control. The up smash going to take him back. Backer this time from Rival. Back here. And had to be so careful if he wasn't, that Nikita might have stage spiked him, gets rid of the C4 in center stage, and drops another one. Look 
at that one guy. He's just trying to bait an approach onto the C4 and cover the jump at the same time. It's a 50-50 that Rival is unwilling to play. And goes up very high for the back air. Rival, before he's going down to that final stock, is able to take one of that one, guys. But Wool on top, roll back to the stage was just so telegraphed at that point. That one guy very willing to reverse his up tilt. Rival is going to be put onto match stock here. Rival's neutral game has been perhaps the best we've seen in this entire set so far, but it really just doesn't even matter when he's falling into setups perhaps a bit absent-mindedly. And that up tilt from very far away, we can see just how far it was from that freezing screen, but nevertheless, that one guy shakes off that game one jitters and is gonna take this one in three games and will be advancing into finals of his, winner's finals of his pool.